Just beyond the gates of hell, an alcoholic, a womanizer, and a stoner find themselves standing in front of three identical doors. There to greet them is none other than Satan, who tells them a secret method to getting into heaven. Each man must spend 1,000 years in a room with their greatest vice. If he does so, he will be allowed to enter heaven. The catch? At the end of the 1,000-year period, if the man asks to be let out of the room, he instead will be trapped inside forever. The first man, being a lifelong alcoholic, is presented with a room identical to his favorite drinking spot. Some of his old drinking buddies are present, along with infinitely replenishing spirits of all kinds. The first man is ecstatic and thinking it will be an easy feat, runs inside and slams the door behind him. The second man, known for being quite the pervert, immediately feels his blood start pumping as the second door is opened. Inside are women of every shape, size, color, you name it. Every woman this man has ever fantasized about is here, ready to obey his every command. Without a word, the second man rushes inside, closing the door behind him. Now the third man, having been a cannabis connoisseur for most of his life, stands in awe of the marvel before him. Inside his room is a forest containing every strand of marijuana conceivable. The shrubs are the most beautiful green hues, emitting the stickiest of smells. The ground is littered with the highest quality nugs from Nepal. The dirt is hash rocks and keef, and the trees are actually 20 foot tall plants. The stoner can't wait to get eternally stoned and happily jaunts inside his room. 1,000 years pass, Satan being a man of his word, decides to check on each of the men. He opens the door to the first man's room, only to find the most disgusting mess he had ever seen, blood, booze, and bodily fluids. Create a disgusting miasma throughout the room. Broken glass litters the floor, and the man's once friends lie dead in various states of decay. After searching for a while, Satan happens upon the man, shriveled up and nestled in a pile of bottles crying and bleeding profusely. The man's racking sobs stop as his trembling lips work to form a sentence, please get me, me out of here. Satan, a man of his word, reminds the man of the condition upon which he was imprisoned and having broken his end of the bargain, the man is trapped inside eternally. The second man must have done better than that one, Satan thinks to himself while opening the second door. Moments later, hundreds upon thousands of people come flooding out, men, women, children of all creeds, along with the scents of human waste and burnt flesh. Eventually, Satan sees the man he locked in here, riding the wave of people. Get me out of here, the man screams, and Satan seals the door forever. The third door is all that remains now. As Satan opens it, he sees the stoner, meditating in the center of the forest, surrounded by a pool of tears. The forest had been untouched for the full thousand years. Satan is understandably quite confused. The stoner opens his eyes in disbelief and runs over to Satan, and shaking him by the collar, he says, Do you have a lighter man? <laughs> a horse, a sheep, and a chicken lived together on a farm. The horse had long dreamed of learning to play the guitar, so the horse rings a music shop and he says, Hey, I'd love to learn to play guitar. Is there anyone who can teach me? The music shop manager says, That's not an issue. Let's get you started on some music lessons. The horse says, Well, there's one problem, sir. I'm actually a horse. The music store manager says, Hey, that's not a problem. I'm sure I can manage to teach you. The horse says, awesome. So he goes into his lessons, and in no time, he's rocking the whole farm with his guitar. One day, the sheep comes wandering over. Sheep watches horse play for a bit, and then says that he'd really like to learn to play drums, and can horse recommend anyone who can teach him. Horse gives sheep the number of the music shop, and sheep dials the number. The music store manager says, hey, no problem. I'll teach you to play drums. How about we set up some lessons? The sheep says, 
Is it going to be a problem if I'm a sheep? The manager says, not a problem. In fact, a while ago, I taught a horse to play guitar, so it shouldn't be too hard to teach a sheep to play drums. So the sheep goes for his music lessons, and soon enough, he's mastered them, and he and horse start jamming together in the stables. One morning, sheep and horse are rocking the hose down when chicken struts past. Chicken is very impressed and tells horse and sheep that he's always wanted to learn to sing and could horse or sheep recommend anyone. They both tell him about the music shop and the chicken decides to call the music shop. So he gives the shop a call and tells the manager that he's always longed to learn to sing and could anyone help him. The shop manager says it's no problem and when is he free to come in for lessons? Chicken says there's just one small issue. The shop manager asks, what's that? The chicken says, well, I'm a chicken. The manager says, that's no problem. I've taught a horse to play guitar and a sheep to play drums, so I'm sure I can teach a chicken to sing. So chicken takes his lessons, and in no time at all, he's the best singer you ever heard. He and sheep and horse decide to form a band and start playing together and even writing songs. One day, they're smashing it out in the stables when they decided to record a video of one of their songs and upload it to YouTube. The song ends up going viral. It's so popular they release more videos and soon they have a massive fan base. They all decide it's time to embark on a world tour. At the airport, as the plane is about to board, Horse says, guys, I need to use the bathroom. I'll catch up with you too before the flight leaves. Both the chicken sheep board the plane, but horse takes too long in the bathroom and misses the flight. As horse is waiting for a new flight, he's watching TV and a news story tells him that the plane sheep and chicken were on crashed and both chicken and sheep tragically died. Horse was very upset about losing his two closest friends and decides to go into the bar across the road and get a drink to drown his sorrows. He walks in and orders, and as he's sitting at the bar drinking, the barman looks at Horse and says, Why the long face? <laughs> a proctologist walked into a bank. Preparing to endorse a check, he pulled a rectal thermometer out of his shirt pocket and tried to write with it. Realizing his mistake, he looked at the thermometer with annoyance and said, Well, that's great. Just great. Some assholes got my pen. <laughs> my friends, if you want to watch other funny jokes, subscribe to the channel.